Hi there, welcome to Makeup Munchies and More. I hope you're doing well. Today's video is a fun one. Let's see if you can guess. <laughs> it's actually the idea of my YouTube friend, Krista. We were chatting by email one day and she mentioned that she loved to collect mugs and was going to film a video about it. Of course, I thought that was a great idea and I told her I wanted in on it. <laughs> so today's video is a show and tell of my mug collection and it is in collaboration with Krista. Her channel is very new and it's called K Duke and I will include a link to her in the description box and in the comment section below. And I absolutely encourage you all to go check her out. She is whip smart, extremely eloquent and very funny. She puts out all sorts of videos about her vegetarian lifestyle, cruelty free beauty favorites, um, she's a big advocate of mental health awareness and puts out a lot of videos about that. And recently she started making some cute things with her new Cricut machine. So there's something for everybody on her channel. And please drop by, show her some love, and don't forget to check out her mug collection after mine, which I'm sure is a thousand times more eclectic and fascinating than mine is. In the meantime, let's start off this show and tell. And don't forget to please leave a comment below. Let me know if you have any of these mugs, first of all. And if not, what is your favorite mug? And there's a saying, I wanna know what's on it. I don't have a ton of mugs, however, I absolutely love them. And I want to buy all the mugs whenever I go to HomeSense or Walmart, especially at Christmas time. But I've become quite good at holding off on buying them. Even though mugs are really dangerous, I mean, they're totally cute, the sayings are relatable, and most of all, they're one size fits all. So I'm always in danger of falling down the mug rabbit hole. So I just, I just don't buy them. I look at them, I touch them, but I just don't buy them. And um, it's hard, but I do it. <laughs> so like I said, let's begin. First of all, I'm gonna show you the first mug I ever owned, and that is this one. It is an original strawberry shortcake mug. It is by American Greetings and it was made in 1980. And I received it in 1980 because I was a huge strawberry shortcake fan. I recently did a collaboration video with Lacey Space and it was um, dear to my heart, things that I just I can't get rid of no matter how many times I declutter. And there was a strawberry shortcake item in that too and it was one of my first pieces of jewelry and I will link that also up at the top corner for you to take a look at and see what I've got. So this is my strawberry shortcake mug. I don't think I've used it since 1980. I don't want anything to happen to it. I just sort of put it in the back of the cupboard, but I think it is adorable. And I'll show you my everyday mug now. This is what I use for my coffee. It's a flamingo mug for summer. I received this from my friend on YouTube, Savvy Girl. We've known each other for years and she buys me mugs. <laughs> You'll see another one in here from her. It's by the company Canvas. It's very heavy. Um, it is a little bit scratched up now, but I use it all the time. I love it. It's just one of those nice mugs that you can just put your whole hands around and drink your warm beverage. The funny thing is I never drink cold beverages out of mugs. I mean, Mugs are not strictly for hot beverages, but that's all I seem to drink Next, out of them. Next, this is my early spring mug. The Flamingo is my summer mug. This is my early spring mug. I really love it. It is by Portobello by Inspire. I got this from HomeSense, and I love that it kind of looks like an anthropology style of a mug. And it's got the little pattern inside. It's really beautiful. It always gets stained from my coffee and tea. So I just bleach it out and it turns pristine again. I love the little pedestal on it. It's just an old world feel. Really pretty and um, kind of exotic this looking. I bought from Target for like the year or maybe even less than a year that it was in Canada. I bought this Rudolph mug. Well, it's not really Rudolph, it's just a deer. It is made by, I guess it's just Target. I don't think there's a name brand, but I love it. It's so cute. The only thing is, I like to hold my coffee in my right hand. So when I'm drinking out of this, I don't know why, I feel like it shouldn't be facing me. I feel like it should be facing out when I drink. So I don't know if this is a specifically for a left-handed drinker, I'm not sure. 
but it's awkward for me to drink out of it. So I don't, I just sort of keep it on display at Christmas time. What I do drink out of at Christmas is this mug. It is my ugly sweater Christmas mug. I bought it in a set of four at Kitchen Stuff Plus. So I got one, I got the set of four and I broke it up. One for me, one for my brother, one for his wife, one for her sister. So we each have an ugly sweater mug. The sweater is slightly askew. I mean, it was really cheap. <laughs> Doesn't bother me. I think it's adorable and that is what I actually drink out of at Christmas time. Let's condense. Then I have my Royal Mug Collection. I don't have many, only three, but it all started off with this. My mom went to London the year after Fergie and Andrew got married, and she picked this up for me because I just love the royal family, and it's one of their commemorative mugs, and it's a Churchill mug made in England. I used it back in the day when I first got it, but I don't use it anymore. It's strictly for display, and I have a little unit and I put my royal tchotchkes on it and with that mug I've got my William and Kate mug. Um, who brought me this? Oh one of my old bosses uh, is from England and when she went to visit her family I asked her to bring me some souvenirs and she brought me this for Will and Kate and I still have, <laughs> I've never used it, I still have the tag on it so I don't know who made it, but it's just one of those um, souvenir stand mugs. It's very thin. If I knocked it against something, it would probably break. Together with that, I got this more sturdy, basic mug. It was to commemorate Prince George's birth. Isn't he the cutest? Oh my gosh, I love this kid and his sister too. And now some family members are going back to England this year, so they have to bring me... Um, a mug commemorating Princess Charlotte, which I don't have, and one for Prince Louis as well. So, yeah, my three royal mugs I don't use. They're just for display. I have some vacation mugs. I bought this when I went to New Orleans. I think I used it for about a month, and then I put it away because I love it, and I don't want to break it. Well, maybe I should break it so then I can go back. I don't know who it's by, but it's um, I bought it from the... Café du Monde um, gift store that they have in the French Quarter. It's a nice heavy mug. I love the color of it. It's a dark blue, but it's basically just a, um, it's just like a conversation piece. I don't use it. And another one from my vacation. This one has the Eiffel Tower on it. You'd think it would come from Paris, but no, it didn't. It came from the Paris Hotel in Las Vegas. I stayed there few years ago and this was my souvenir although it doesn't say Vegas or anything on it. Um, I'm not really a fan of the cartoons but I love that it had the Eiffel Tower. So I've got that. This is super heavy. It's an excellent mug. I have mug. another brand new flamingo mug. It's fancier than my everyday mug but I got it from the same person. This is from my friend Savvy Girl. She brought this to me last year. I still have the label on it, designed in England. And it's so cute, I just don't want to use it and spoil it. So I just keep this hidden away. It's by Cambridge Limited. It's beautiful, I love the gold detail on then the handle. Then we have this big F. It's from Chapters. It's by Indigo's house brand, Chapters Indigo. And it says F is for fabulous. It's also for Francis, my first name. Uh, my sister-in-law bought me this for Christmas one year. And it says fabulous, extraordinary, wonderful, amazingly good, of an incredible or astonishing nature. And I definitely am. <laughs> I love this mug. I just don't use it because I have other mugs to use. Oh, right now I have a couple more mugs that were not here to show you. I have this Tim Hortons Traveler's Collection. It's similar to the Starbucks um, You Were Here. Is that what it's called? Those mugs? I don't collect those at all. But I thought because Tim Hortons is, started off as a Canadian company and they had them with our city names on them, I picked up this one with Toronto. There's uh, New City Hall. We've got some street signs. The streetcar downtown and the CN Tower, of course. I thought I would buy this just for posterity. I still have it in the box. I still have the receipt in there. I've never used it. When I get a new job, that's going to be my 
office mug. And I have my world famous Bazinga mug. It's from Big Bang Theory, of course. I'm the hugest Sheldon fan. I love him so much. Uh, I think my friend bought it for me from, we went to Fan Expo one year, which is a Comic-Con derivative, and um, she got me this mug. Unfortunately, I broke the handle, and this is all E6000 residue that I haven't taken off yet. But in the meantime, I just use this for pens and stuff on my desk because I love it. I have to get another one. And another broken one that I haven't been able to throw out is this one. And I don't have any sentimental reason for, you know, keeping hold of it. It's just I love the pattern so much that I want to do something with it, maybe with some cement, like break it up some more and then embed it in some cement. I'm not sure. But, oh, I wrote down broken here, but you can see it just all cracked from overuse. And it wasn't expensive. It was from Michael's. I think they had um, uh, matching patterns of notebooks and pens and umbrellas and things. And I had bought this for myself. I just love the pattern. I love the colors. I love everything about this mug. Unfortunately, it just broke. So I have to figure out what to do with this. If you have any ideas, please let me know. And these two mugs I created on the Redbubble site. They were having a sale, so I bought this one first and then I went back and bought this. This is my Outlander mug, um, very well loved. You can see it's not the most expensive mug in the world, not the best made, it's chipping everywhere. The picture is rubbing off in places, but um, I got a lot of use out of this mug and I just love this picture. I love this profile of Jamie Fraser. It's just a beautiful mug. Very well made. If you're looking to make some mugs out of some of your favorite pictures or sayings, uh, check out redbubble.com. This is not sponsored. I just, I've ordered from them twice and I'm really satisfied with what I got. So that is my Outlander mug. And then this is the newest mug in my collection. I'll give you a second. Can anybody tell what this is? No, give up. This is Agent Dale Cooper's blank face from Twin Peaks. I love that show. Dale Cooper is my favorite character. What a guy. And I needed to have him on a mug and there he is. I haven't used it yet. I'm just holding on to it. I don't want this to rub off the negative spaces. It's really eye-catching, but I don't want the hair or anything to rub off, so um, I will eventually start using this, but not yet. So that is my mug collection. That's all I can stand to have in the house. If I bring any more mugs in, I'm going to have to let go of some of these, and I'm not ready for that. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to go and check out Krista's channel. Again, it's linked below for you in the comments and the description box. And uh, you know what? I'll meet you there. I have to go there and check out what she's got too. I'm looking forward to it. What a great idea. Thank you for letting me in on this idea, Krista. I appreciate it so much. You've got a great channel and I hope everybody comes to visit you. So yeah, please go visit Krista. Have a great day and I'll talk to you in my next video. Ciao for now.